Hi, my name is Anne T. Elliott, and I'm a visual artist living in San Francisco. My background is I have a degree in art with a minor in theater, and I've always been interested in the arts. Right now, um, because I'm living in San Francisco, I've become very interested in the cityscapes of San Francisco. And I have been taking walking tours sponsored by the public library of the different districts in San Francisco. And so what I've been doing is taking digital images of what I see, and I come back to my studio and I put them together in a, a kind of like a jigsaw puzzle format. If you are familiar with San Francisco, you might recognize this as the Ferry Building. And these are the wonderful light structures that line Market Street in San Francisco. Here is a trolley car, the F line of San Francisco. So you might then notice that this is kind of a U-turn type image. Well, what I've done is I am facing the ferry building in one direction, and then I turn 180 degrees, and I look down Market Street. So these are some of the buildings that I see down the other direction of Market Street. This particular picture is one I did by the Civic Center. And here is our city hall. And behind it is our new federal building. And here is the Optimist building, which I think was really fun to put in the picture because it has the word truth written on it. And that was written by the Optimist who owned the building. Um, they wrote it on the side of the building when our mayor, Willie Brown, was mayor. And you can see truth from the mayor's office. And so they did that as a reminder to always be true to your city. And here's a picture of the United Nations um, um, plaza fountain, which if you are familiar with San Francisco, you know you cannot see all of these things in one view. So what I have done is just put them together, like I said in the other picture, like a jigsaw puzzle. So these are part of a new series that I'm working on. I've just been traveling in Southeast Asia, and I went to Cambodia and Laos and Vietnam, and I got very excited, especially in Vietnam, about all the activity that is happening there. And the thing that caught my eye were the electrical poles, and I just could not believe how many electric lines were attached to them. So I, the first pictures I took when I went to Vietnam were of these electrical poles. And when I came back to the United States, I focused on them. And so here's a picture in Hanoi, I call it Hanoi Hustle, and it's just totally loaded with people on bicycles and motorbikes and the electrical wires are everywhere and the buildings are really colorful. So it's a very exciting country to go and, and visit and I wanted to portray that in my pictures. The other thing that caught my interest on my trips to Southeast Asia were the Buddhas and the Buddhas in the temples. and. I fell in love with the serenity of the Buddha figure, and especially with the way the hands um, are held. There's probably at least 60 different poses that the Buddhists hold their hands in, and, and each one tells a little bit about what that Buddha represents. This particular one I call traveling in the Buddhist landscape, and so I just put all my little Buddhas into little teeny alcoves in this mountain scene. So basically, the landscape is a temple with all these Buddhas in it. I have a few other uh, pictures from Southeast Asia. Well, this one's actually from China. Um, I'm in love with all of the, the serenity of the beautiful mountain structures. And then in Cambodia, in Angkor Wat, once again, there were Buddhas everywhere. And so I fell in love with their Buddhas and also the offerings that the people would put in the temples in front of the Buddhas, all the incense, and then the, the fruit and the flowers. And I also fell in love with all of the umbrellas and the, the Buddha flags that were hanging. And you can see that in some of my other work. Here's another grouping of paintings that are quite different from the other ones. The first works that you saw were works on paper, and these are oil paintings on canvas. Now, this series is actually quite larger than what is represented here, um, and they are still lifes of what I'm calling my teapot series. Each one of these has six items in it. Uh, a teapot, it has fruit, it has flowers, 
It has a vase for the flowers. It has fabric which actually, I think, pulls together the pictures quite wonderfully. And then it has a little objet d'art. In this particular picture, it's this little bird that's facing down. Each one of these paintings uh, represents things that I own. They are my personal possessions and I'm in love with all of these teapots and all of the other things that are in the pictures. I think probably what got me going on this particular series was the fabric. My background before painting was in theater and designing theater costumes and I also worked quite extensively making uh, handmade quilts and so I'm, I'm really in love with fabric and I find that this particular series um, was, was based on fabric. Thank you very much for watching my video with my artwork in it. I hope that you will look on Montagio.com site for further uploads of my artwork, which I will be continually um, providing them with. And I hope that you will get the desire to purchase one of my paintings and you can purchase it through Montagio.com or you can contact me at my studio. Thank you very much.